My dear friends, Connor and Kate, you have come together today in this sacred space so that the Lord Jesus may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's minister and this community, your family and friends. Christ abundantly blesses the love you have for each other. He has already consecrated you both in baptism, and now he enriches and strengthens you by a special sacrament so that you may assume the duties of marriage in mutual and lasting fidelity. With faith in you and in each other, they pledge their love today. May their lives always bear witness to the reality of your love. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. And so in the presence of God's holy people gathered here today, Connor and Kate, I ask you to publicly declare your intentions for your lives from this moment forward. Have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? I have. Will you love and honor each other as husband and wife for the rest of your lives? I will. Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? I will since it is your intention to enter into marriage to each other. Join your right hands, face one another, and declare your vows, your consent before God and His Church. Connor, if you would look at Kate and repeat after me, please. I, Connor, take you, Kate, to be my wife. I, Connor, take you, Kate, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I'll honor you and love you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. And Kate, if you would look at Connor and repeat after me, please. I, Kate, take you, Connor, to be my husband. I, Kate, take you, Connor, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. May they together seek to do your will always live together in peace, harmony, and love. May these rings be a visible symbol of their commitment to each other and always remind them of the love they pledge to each other from this day forward. Go in peace to glorify God by the living of your lives. Thanks be to God and congratulations to Connor and Kate, husband and wife.
my name is Gavin. I'm Connor's older brother. So as long as I can remember, Connor has been a bit of a wanderer. He's always known what he wanted, but sometimes finding his path can be a little bit interesting. Where he knew where he wanted to go, but the path there wasn't necessarily always clear. Then Connor's course took him to Kate. And for someone who's been known to wander, he found the perfect navigator to give him that extra direction. And together, they're an unstoppable force. Here's to you guys, a life of happiness and always wandering together. I have known Kate since the day I was born. And growing up, she was kind of my unofficial big sister. When we were kids, there were three different personas, if you will, of Kate that really stood out to me. First, Kate the Vertically Challenged. The second persona is Kate the Planner. She's been keeping me in check my whole life. And the third persona would be Kate the Athlete. Kate the Vertically Challenged may always be small, but as we know, the best things come in small packages. Kate the Planner is ready for anything. Kate the Athlete turned the Vertically Challenged joke on the entire world. She turned that athleticism into leadership and her family, teammates, and friends would follow her to the highest of heights because her bar for success is just through the moon, but she's never missed. Connor, I hope you realize how lucky you are to be marrying all three of these wonderful women today. Raise a glass to these guys because they're awesome. Cheers to Kate and Connor. I've had a gift from Kate every year she's been born. There's nothing better as a father to walk through the door when you come home from work and you have this, I know the short jokes are still there, but the, you have this two-year-old kid just coming up and running up to you and say, Daddy's home! And, and that's just fantastic. And I've had little treats like that every year. Your mother and I couldn't ask for a better daughter. And Connor, you've, you've uh, been nothing but fantastic ever since I've met you. I think it's been eight years now. So it's been a, a tremendous ride with Connor, and I think we have a fantastic match. We got two, two great individuals that are now an amazing couple. May God bless your union and bring you the greatest of joy today and always. Love you guys.